Hoisting is an advanced concept in JavaScript, and almost every time it is asked on technical interviews from junior to senior levels. It is a so-called strange behavior compared to other traditional programming languages like Java, C, or C++. If you don't understand its concept, you may run into bugs that are really hard to investigate. But don't worry, I got you covered. If you really want to simplify the concept, we can do that this way. In JavaScript, by default, you can use variables and functions before you initialize or declare them. Of course, there are some edge cases and exceptions that we will cover in this video. Now I show you and create examples to make it easy for you to understand. So in the first example, I will create a variable x with a value of 2. And in the first line, I will console log it. What do you think the value will be? If you run it now, we can see that the value is undefined. Because only the declaration is hoisted to the top of the containing scope. So from the JavaScript interpreter's perspective, this piece of code will look like as follows. The declaration will be hoisted to the top of the scope and the initialization will be happen on the line we will expect it to be. We can see that it is still undefined, but this is the reason. JavaScript interpreter reads through your JavaScript file two times. At the first time, it collects all the declarations and moves them to the top of the containing scope. Now we have a global scope, so the variables are hoisted to the top of that scope. If it would have been in a function, they would have been hoisted to the top of the function scope. If we go and place another console log after the value assignment and clear the console and run again, we can see that here the value of x is undefined because the variable is just only declared and the default value for variables is undefined. And after the value assignment, we can see that the variable has the value that we wanted. Now we know that variable declarations with var are hoisted. But since ES6, we have two other ways to declare variables. We can use let and const to declare variables. So if we go and delete the first line and create this variable with let, now if we run the script, we can see that we have an error, cannot access x before initialization. This is one of the main differences between let and const and var. So let and const are also hoisted, but they throw reference error instead of just setting the value to undefined. This is called a temporary dead zone, because the JavaScript interpreter knows that the value will be declared but it prohibits the use before the initialization happens. This can save you a lot of time facing with some errors. And also, as you can see, the second console log is not run because the JavaScript execution was interrupted in this line and the execution of code has stopped. And this is a way better developer experience because we are sure that there are no silent issues in our code. We can just modify let the const and we can see the same thing happens. So as a pro tip, you should always use let and const instead of var. If you learned something new from the video, drop a like below to help others learn this too. Okay, so now let's see a real life example where hoisting can be a problem. So here I set up a quick project. Uh, we only have an H1 with an ID of test in our HTML file. So I will close that now. We save the reference for, for this DOM element and we will set the inner HTML uh, of this h1 to be value of the variable grating. And we declare the variable here. As you can see, undefined is printed because of hoisting. Remember that JavaScript compiler will go and move this declaration to the top. And from the perspective of the interpreter, it will look like this. So greetings value will be the default undefined, and that is what is printed here. Of course, we can get over this issue by moving the value assignment before we actually use the value. This issue can easily be prevented by using let or const. So if we go back here, so we have the hoisting issue. If we declare our variable with const, we can see that nothing happens. But if we open up the console, hit the run with JS, we can see that we have an error. So we know that something is wrong 
when we use var, we had a silent issue. It doesn't throw an error, so we, we wouldn't know if there are any problems. But if we use const or let, we can see that there is a reference error. And we can't see anything because at this line, the execution of the JavaScript is stopped. So the best way is to always declare variables before you use them. So move the declaration and the assignment to the top of the scope. And now you can see that everything works well. Now let's see how hoisting affects functions. So in JavaScript, we have two main ways to create functions. The first one is a function declaration. In this case, we use the function keyword, give the function a name, and implement whatever we want in the function body. The next one is a function expression. When we use a function expression, we create a variable and assign a function to it. Let's see what happens if we call the first function. Let's run this code. You may be surprised, but actually the function is executed without any problems. And this is because function declarations are also hoisted, so JavaScript knows that fn is actually a function. And the main difference between variable and function hoisting is if we have a function declaration, the JavaScript interpreter saves a reference to that function. So when it sees a function call here, the interpreter can recall where the function was and execute that. Now let's see how the function expression behaves. If we go here and call the function expression, see what happens. We have an error. It says that fne is not a function. But why is that? As we can see, a function expression is actually a variable. And as we already know, variables are hoisted. So, so this is how this looks like. You can see it's the same. Before the execution, if we do a console.log for the FNE, you might have guessed that the value that will be printed to the console will be undefined. And you can see it here. This behavior is totally logical if you think into that a function expression is just a variable declaration which has a value of a function. So if we remove these now and call the function expression here, we can see that it works flawlessly. Well, let me clear and rerun it again. So you can see that it works correctly. Since function expressions are hoisted as variables, we can use let and const to get meaningful error messages. So if we use var, we can get a type error that the variable is not a function. And this can be really hard to debug. So if we go ahead and rename var to let and hit run, we can see that we cannot access fne before initialization. And this one actually tells us that we wanted to use a variable. And this has more semantic meaning than just simply states that the thing that we wanted to call is not a function. And that's it for this video. To sum up, always declare and initialize your variables and functions before you actually use them to avoid errors. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in more web development related educational content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I see you guys in the next video.